In this video, I'll show you how to play back audio and video and still images from a USB thumb drive like this one on your new Pioneer in-dash receiver. Even though your particular in-dash receiver may have buttons on the side or along the bottom like this one, and may or may not have a DVD player built in, the on-screen and button operation in this demonstration is identical for the following Pioneer AVH-EX models. AVH-200EX AVH-201EX AVH-210EX AVH-211EX MVH-200EX MVH-300EX On the back of your in-dash receiver is a USB 2.0 port, and included with the in-dash receiver is a USB extension to bring that USB port up into the passenger compartment of your vehicle. So plug in the USB extension during your installation and bring that USB port up into the passenger compartment of your vehicle. And now you can just plug in your USB flash drive through the uh, USB extension. You can use a USB 2 or a USB 3 flash drive. Both will work great. Be sure to format your USB flash drive as FAT16 or FAT32. Don't use EXFAT, it does not work. And don't use NTFS, it does not work. I recommend a 16 gigabyte flash drive or smaller for best performance from this product. You can use a maximum of 300 folders on the USB flash drive, and in those 300 folders, you can have up to a maximum of 15,000 audio, video, and still image files. Playable audio formats include MP3, WMA, AAC, and WAV files. When you do that, your system will automatically switch to the USB source and begin to play a track. And here we're playing an audio track, and you can see that we have album art on the screen if your audio data includes the album art. You can see we have the name of the song, name of the artist, and the name of the album. Down here we have play and pause function, and we can skip to the next track or skip back. Over here is information about the track. If we touch that, you can see it'll show us the name of the file. So this is 02burning.mp3 uh, and the folder that it's in, which is the root folder. If I touch the arrow button over here, I can change the folders that I'm in. Now I touch that, I can go back. So we'll put on the information screen and we'll go over to the next screen and you can see we're in the root folder right now. We can change to other folders that are on this drive and that will change to other tracks on the drive inside those folders. If I want to search for different songs on my uh, USB flash drive, I'll touch the search function right here. Now this brings up my search and you can see that we're in the classical folder right now and I can move down here and choose a song to play. Let's go back to the search function here. You can see I'm still in the classical folder. If I wanna go up to different folders, touch that and I'll choose a, uh, choose a different folder here and choose a song to play. Here you also have repeat and random play functions for this folder. I'm gonna move back to my fast forward rewind screen, my transport screen. This system is also very capable of playing back video from a USB flash drive. So we'll just touch this button right here to switch to our choice between music, video, and photos. Right now we're on music, let's choose video. Please remember to format your USB flash drive as FAT16 or FAT32. Don't use EXFAT or NTFS. Those file systems will not work. The maximum number of folders is 300, and in those 300 folders, you can have a maximum of 15,000 files. Playable audio video formats include AVI, MPG, and DIVX. The maximum resolution for video playback on any file format is 720 by 576 at a frame rate of 30 frames per second or less. 
Now please note, DivX users, you must encode as MPEG-4 DivX Home Theater Profile. And we'll choose a video to play. But you can see, look, viewing from the front seat video source while, while driving is strictly prohibited. That means I need to engage the parking brake in order to see video. When I engage the parking brake, the video appears and will play like normal. Now you see we have no controls on the screen right now. If you touch anywhere on the screen, our controls come up. We have play and pause function here, fast forward and rewind functions here. And we, here we can change the aspect ratio of the video that we're viewing. If I want to change to photos, I'll choose photo here. For still images, all the same USB drive formatting applies, FAT16 or FAT32 only. Still image file formats include JPEG with a max size of 8192 by 7680 and BMP images with a max size of 920 by 936. And again, I'm going to show you that the parking brake is not engaged right now. The parking brake is not on. And I'm going to choose a photo here. And here it says viewing of front seat video is not allowed while you're driving, so I have to engage the parking brake. When I engage the parking brake, video, uh, I'm sorry, still images become available, and the system will automatically play through the still images for me. And I can skip to the next one if I want to, to choose that, that next image, or I can use the search function over here to search for uh, different images. If I want to go back to music, bring up the controls, touch the button here, choose music, and that takes me right back to my music selection screen where I can pick a song to play.